The goal of this presentation is to explain what is time value of money, why we study time value of money, five models of time value of money, and its applications. Time value of money simply suggests that money in your hand today is worth more than money you will receive at a later date. The reason the money you receive today is worth more is because money does not grow on trees and there is a cost for money which is the interest payment on borrowed money. In business, the money is raised either by debt or equity, and it costs the company to raise money either by debt or equity. Let's assume that someone is offering you $10,000 today and $10,000 after two years. What would be your preference? You would select $10,000 today because the money in your hand today worth more than money you will receive at a later date. If we have to receive $10,000 today and deposited the money in an interest bearing account at 5% for next two years, you will have $11,025 in your bank account by the end of two years. The value of $10,000 that you have in your hand after two years is $11,025, which is greater than $10,000. That's why you would prefer $10,000 today not $10,000 after two years. If you ignore the time value of money concept, you will not be able to make good personal or business decision. Let's take an example. You invested $1 million in an investment account today, and the investment is going to generate $1.2 million at the end of the two years. Based on the information, you assume that project is going to generate $200,000 in profits. Problem with this assumption is you have ignored the time value of money. If the cost of borrowing was 12%, you're going to lose money in the project. Let's assume the initial investment is $1 million, interest cost is $240,000, and the investment value at the end of two years is $1.2 million. The loss from the investment is $40,000. The five model of time value of money are future value, present value, future value of annuity, present value of annuity, and loan amortization model. The future value is a compounding process which means as the time and our interest rate increases value increases the present value is a discounting process which means as the time and our interest rate increases value decreases the future value and the present value models are used for single sum and when you have stream of payments of equal amount and equal interval future value of annuity and present value of annuity models are used for time value of money analysis amortization model is used for loan analysis the first step in time value of money analysis is to draw a timeline to cl clarify the analysis on hand period zero on the left hand side represent value today which is present value and any time period on the right hand side is future period which is future value this is a timeline for future value because it involves single sum and question mark is on the right hand side. This is a timeline for present value because it involves a single sum and the question mark is on left hand side. This is a timeline for future value of annuity because it involves a stream of payments of equal amount at equal interval and the question mark is on the right hand side. This is a timeline for present value of annuity because it involves a stream of payments of equal amount at equal interval and the question mark is on the left hand side. Three variables in time value of money analysis are interest rate, number of periods, and future value and present value. Using the five models presented earlier, you can solve present value, future value, future value of annuity, present value of annuity, payments, or you can solve for interest rate and time period. Let's assume you have invested $100,000 in an investment that guarantees 10% annually, how much money will you have in your investment account after five years? First step is to draw a timeline for time value of money analysis. Time period is five years. Money is deposited at period zero. Interest rate is 10% and the question mark is on the right hand side. It is a future value analysis. Let's use a financial calculator, Texas Instrument or HP, and enter the data in the following order. Enter five, press N key, enter 10, press I slash Y key, enter 1000, press plus and minus key, press present value key, enter zero, press payment key, press compute key and future value key if you're using Texas instrument or just press future value key if you're using HP. The answer is 1610.51 cents. If you invest $1,000 at 10% for five years, at the end of five years, you will have 1610.52 cents in your bank account. Let's assume 
you will receive $5,000 after five years from a trust account. The question here is, what is the value of the trust account today, assuming that the annual interest rate is 10%? Draw a timeline for time value of money analysis. Time period is five years. Money you will receive after five years, which is the future value. Interest rate is 10%, and the question mark is on left-hand side. It is the present value analysis. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order, 5N, 10 I slash Y, zero payment, 5,000 future value, press compute key and the present value key for Texas Instrument, just present value key for HP. The present value is $3,104.60. This is the present value of $5,000 that you will receive after five years in today's dollar. Let's assume that you are depositing $1,000 every year in an investment account for next five years. What will be the balance in your investment account after five years, assuming that the interest rate is 10%? First, draw the timeline for the time value of money analysis. Time period is five years. Depositing $1,000 every year for next five years, which is payment. Interest rate is 10%, and the question mark is on the right-hand side. It is a future value of NUT analysis. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 5N, 10I slash Y, zero present value, 1,000, then plus and minus key, then pre uh, payment. Next, press compute key and future value, or for HP, just press FV, future value. The future value of $1,000 deposits for five years is 6000 105 10 cents. Let's assume you will receive $1,000 every year for next five years from a trust account. What is the value of five payments that you will receive in today's dollar, assuming that the annual interest rate is 10%? First step is to draw the timeline for the time value of money analysis. Time period is five years, depositing $1,000 every year for next five years, which is the payment. Interest rate is 10%, and the question mark is on the left hand side. It is a present value of annuity analysis. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 5N, 10I slash Y, 1000 payment, zero future value. Press compute key and PV for Texas Instrument, just PV for HP. The present value of $1,000 deposit for five years is 3790 Let's assume you're borrowing $25,000 to buy an automobile and you will be paying back the loan in a monthly installment over a period of five years. The question here is, what will be your monthly payments assuming an interest rate of 6%? This analysis involves non-annual compounding. The rules for converting annual data into non-annual data are, number one, multiply the number of years by number of compounding or discounting period in a year. In this case, we have five years, there are 12 months in a year, so 12 times five is 60 periods. Rule number two, divide the given interest rate by number of compounding or discounting period in a year. In this example, the interest rate is given to you 6%. There are 12 months in a year. 6% divided by 12 is 0.5%. Draw a timeline for time value of money analysis. Time period is 60 periods. Borrowing today is 25,000, which is present value. Interest rate is 0.5% monthly, and the question mark is on payments. So we are solving for payment. It is a loan amortization analysis, which is same as present value of annuity analysis. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 60N, 0.5I slash Y, 25,000, then plus and minus key, then PV key, zero FV, press compute and payment for Texas Instrument, just press payment for HP. The monthly payments for $25,000 loan for five years are $483.32 per month. Thank you.